because the Tomcat album really was what started it for us over in Europe. The Strikes album really didn't get started over there. And now they're picking up on that right now. But the uh, Tomcat album got everything started in Europe. We went over with the Scorpions and did uh, tw about 22 dates over there with them. We just went back now uh, to England, France, and Germany. We played seven festivals, outdoor festivals over there. Well, we had the uh, the number one, number two, and number 14 single on the heavy metal charts. That's fantastic. And their singles over there are so much different than our singles over here. Like their single over there, Good Morning, was their single over there. That's a good song. Though. And uh, I mean, that's, a, yeah. that's a heck of a way to wake up. <laughs> yeah. Diary of a Working Man was number two, and Fire of the Dragon was number 14. Yeah. And I think the people over there are, are more aware of music. Yeah. If you mention a certain musician, they know who they played with like 10 years ago, five years ago, every band. Yeah, if you get an encore, you deserve it. If you don't, they boo you. Yeah. They, Where they, some they, audiences over here, it's like the thing you do. <clears throat> Everybody gets an encore. And over there, you deserve it. Right. Or okay. you don't. So you work for it. As far as the new album, Blackwood Marauder, you've got, uh, I believe, a hawk, right? Peregrine Falcon. A Peregrine Falcon. Mm -hmm. Now, each, each album strikes had the snake, Tomcat and had the uh, Tomcat, of course. Mm -hmm. This album with the uh, Peregrine Falcon. But I think that the animals represent the band, uh, you know, and maybe for the live album we'll have them all fighting together. Or something. Get a live album? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've, uh, we've been talking about it. We want to we wanna try and do uh, one more studio album before we, you know, take on a live thing. We're thinking about taking the mobile unit out and doing some live, you know, recording some live shows uh -huh. just to put away in can and have ready. Uh, very refreshing, I'm sure, to, to all the people you meet because you're representative of Jacksonville. Funny, because everybody asks us why Jacksonville is um, the hotbed of, of, you know, bringing all these bands around and us. And my whole answer to it all is I've really tried to figure it out, you know, one, you know, because it's an industrial town and there's a lot of people that flow through here that come through. Like, he came through here from Georgia and he stopped. So, you know, therefore his musical heritage picked up here. Uh, and that's where all the trouble started at. He's the one that caused it all, right? Don't <laughs> point you back at yeah. me. <laughs> so, uh, I think that it's a mean city, you know. This, this is a mean city. Oh, I yeah. think this city's... Uh, they're loyal, though. Oh, they're loyal. And I, everybody says, why is it that it's such a house? Nice? Well, it's the Transylvania, Florida. Anything that comes out of here is going to be mean and right to the point. You know? so, how's it going to be the star? You never have to do the roads and uh, or any of that, all that grind stuff. You let these guys take all the bumps. Of course, you've had your share, right? Yeah. Yeah. He never realized he'd make it in rock and roll. He gave up country for rock. Now, so. Oh wow! When I was a kid, we we, we had the same beat, you know. But I've always liked this. I've always played it, you know. We. It's called different things, you know. And Tell us what it was called. Well, like Susan Q and stuff <laughs> like that, you know. And of course, we had our hair, you know, our fad, just like these kids, you know. And see, that's why now that I understand kids at my age, you know, that, I mean, a lot of parents now think their kids should be grown. But, you know, uh, a kid's going to be a kid. you got to live with him, you know. There's still a lot of kid in you, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, it'll always be. And it's, so uh, we had a pompadour, see? Yeah. Sweat back, man. So I used to tell a joke, you know, and uh, that uh, the town boys had a little money and they'd get the regular hair tonic to put in their hair, you know. And of course, we'd have to use lard. And so, boy, that odor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, smell, that. you know, that lard, you know. And, and Oh, it's, I could go on and tell you a lot of stuff. Are you, are you excited about uh, uh, the the amount of exposure you have received with, uh, with of course, Train Train and uh, uh, Fox Chase? Also, uh, this uh, you've been on the, the last three albums. Uh, how did Rick go about approaching you as far as getting that, or do you just hog time and say, I'm, I'm going to record on this album? Well, yeah, and then Rick helped me, you know. All of them did. Well, all of them are just like me young ones. You know, Greg, Gary. He was me and Rick, and of course Jack's been with him about the same thing, but Greg, you know, and Ricky there's about 9 and 10 and 12, you know, and <laughs> my wife would go and chaperone with her band, you know, or me one, you know. And nice kids too, huh? Yeah, they, they used to make me mad, but I knew they were kids, you know, and, they got hooked watermelons and chickens, you know, and, <laughs> and who ain't, you know. A kid, a lot of people think a kid can be grown, but he's got to grow up. You've got to go right along with it. You still re, uh, refer to Rick and Jack? Sure, and, and I have found this out. 
that love is what it's all about. If you send it out, it comes back. That's great. That's sure. a great philosophy, Shorty. You got to have a lot of that move law to live now, but you know, that friend, now that, that's what it's about. You yeah. got to love people. You, if, don't send out, you know. I like to see everyone do well, do good, the, the bands and, and anything else that you start seeing, you know. Don't, don't, and don't never kick nobody. Don't, don't say something about someone because it comes right back to you unless you say something good. That's what I think. Well, speaking of friends, you guys, uh, Blackfoot, made a tremendous amount of friends here in Jacksonville. You've made them uh, all over the country, and you've also taken your good spirits and, and friendship uh, across the oceans to uh, Europe. And uh, Jacksonville salutes you for that because Thank you, uh, you do a lot for this town. <laughs> Rick Medlock, Jackson, Thunderfoot. Where's your heart, Betty? Thumper. <laughs> and Greg? And Shorty Medlock? Sign us off, Daddy, with a heart. Shorty's going to do a little piece for us.